Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest rally trapping video. In today's video, I'll be showcasing some clips from my rally traps. The first one's gonna be on my mini Titan. I also also have my rally trap in this video as well. And then I think I have one solo trap clip, but that's like right at the end. So anyways, the first clip here is gonna be my mini Titan against a mid tier lead here. I was kind of deciding in this situation, should I let him counter me or not? I was kind of going back and forth, and in the end, I did decide to try and counter it. There wasn't a lot of tier 5 in there, so kind of looking back, I was like, yeah, maybe I should have let him counter me, because if I let him counter me, there would have been a follow-up rally, and I could have got a bunch more rallies from that, but in this situation, I decided not to. But a mid-tier lead with that much tier 5, I could probably try to let him counter me. He would do probably like 3 mil to me. But I had a decent amount of uh, troops at that time. Actually, I was kind of low in range. Maybe that's why I didn't let him. I'd hire an Inf and Cav, but if I had higher range, maybe I would have let him counter me on that. So, again, pretty good uh, lead. Mid-tier, nothing, not a top tier. He's just missing one cup in his infantry set, but he does have some tempered uh, Mythic Champ and stuff. So, uh, yeah, looking back, maybe it would have been better to let him counter me in this situation. Yeah. I even said that in the chat here, so <laughs> so yeah. Going back and forth, should I let him counter me, should I not? And in the end, I decided to counter him, and I don't believe I ended up getting a follow-up rally because of that, so in that situation, I probably should have let him counter me. Anyways, going on to the next clip here, this is going to be against YST. I believe YST is a Chinese guild. I don't really know much about them. They have some decent leads in YST though, so the first one here is, that's not him. <laughs> it's gonna be CCCC333 here. Uh, he is kind of a top tier lead slash low tier titan. Not really sure where to put this guy in there, but he does have an 11k hero, so obviously some uh, money has been spent on the account. Don't know which artifacts and stuff he's done, but he is kind of a top tier account, so I do have to be a little bit worried about this. So in this situation, I am going to throw on my pack fives, and I do not want to let him counter me. That's kind of it. And they were doing a lot of testing, so I'm not swapping beforehand, I think, because that reason it is an infantry one. So I'm going to go over to Cav. They didn't carpet or anything, so I kind of took my time on this one and decided to actually take my pack fives off the wall. If you're wondering why I'm taking the pack fives off the wall is they were scouting me quite a bit, and I didn't want them to get that scout with the pack fives. Also, since I was running 25 million, 25.8 million troops, my pack fives wouldn't even trigger until they did like 1.1 million damage or something like that. So it it wasn't really worth having the pack fives on the wall if I'm full countering them, and I already had the full counter off. So uh, this guy was quite strong though. Yeah, he had double, he had a couple of pieces, tempered 12 mythic champ. He's got some 11k heroes in there. Uh, he doesn't have max castle stars, but he's got decent artifact stars too, so... Uh, I don't know. Is he a titan? Is he a low tier titan? High tier... High high tier account? I don't know. In that kind of range there, so... He did 1.3 mil. Let's take a look. 487 the front line, 825 to the back line, so... He really didn't do much. He did have 1.1 mil tier 5, but... It wasn't enough to do very much damage against this account. And I honestly don't think the damage would have been much different if I had the pack fives on there because it would have triggered so much so late. And again, he only did he only did 450k to my front line. So how much damage am I really reducing from the pack fives other than maybe the uh, uh, Jade Worm, which would have reduced the damage? But his pack fives did most of the damage in that time. Anyways, uh, it looks like uh, CCC111, which I assume is one of his other accounts, is now going to be coming after me. Um, since he uh, got capped on one of his accounts, or I'm not sure if it's his account, but there's a lot of CCCs joining these ra these rallies, so uh, he might be just filling the rallies with his own accounts here, or his guild just likes the name, likes the uh, CCC name. So, uh, so let's see what's coming in here. I I don't believe this one is stronger than his first account, though. I think his first account was a little bit stronger. So uh, we'll see what I do here. Uh, about eight seconds to go just waiting to see uh, I'm gonna go check the watchtower and again I'm not trying to swap any formations just in case um, they are testing and stuff so and I did kind of fake like I was an infantry because he did the most of my infantry there so 
That's, I was hoping he thought I was offline because of that. So now I'm sitting in infantry, if you guys are wondering. So uh, anyways, and I believe he did test me again after I swapped to the infantry there. So I, I am kind of expecting a cab rally here. So we'll see what's going on. Um, hopefully they don't carpet too quickly on this either because they are a little bit closer this time. And yeah, I'm just waiting in the watchtower. So if you are ever in the situation, make sure you send the watchtower for this, uh, just so you can counter as fast as possible. Because if you take, if you don't send the watchtower and you wait till the rally walks and then you click the watchtower, it, it is slower and you're missing like one or two seconds where you could actually counter the rally. So it's better to sit here. Uh, hopefully they don't cancel. You're just sitting here for nothing. That, <laughs> that does happen sometimes. And they are just spamming me with attacks here. So I'm not sure if they're doing tests or not. I'm not even checking. I'm just waiting to see for the coalition to show up. Because if I check one of the attacks and then, yeah, that could... Uh, that could actually, here it comes. It is a, a cab rally, so I was right. And I, I swapped to uh, what's called cat, or range wedge there instead of range. I don't know, my finger was just hovering over it. It's not because I wanted to go range wedge. It was just, I was trying to get into range because I was sitting in infantry. Uh, but again, yeah, these were, just, <laughs> these were just a bunch of tests they were doing on me. So that's why I couldn't swap ahead of time. And I wasn't healing either, so. Uh, you can see here he did 333 to my front line, 700 and something K to my back line. So obviously the lead's not quite as strong as the first one. Um, or I just have better... No, I don't have better range stats than anything. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to... Oh, actually, there's less tier 5 too. So that could be a reason too. Let's take a look here. Yeah, again, the guy was kind of a mid-tier lead. Um, decent artifact stars. Maybe a high tier mid... Or not a... Sorry, yeah. Mid-tier lead, but high end of the mid-tier leads, I would say, for this guy. So, decent attacker, but definitely nowhere near as strong as the first one. Yeah, and they were just constantly testing me over and over and over again. That's that's kind of why I couldn't swap out. So, I had to wait till the rally walks. And they got the Helldrider popping, too. I hate seeing that. It's like, ah, oh, I would have had that leader, too. It wasn't a bunny that saved him. It was the Helldrider, too. It's like, kind of sucks, but yeah. Uh, apparently he's bringing another account, so let's, let's take a look at this one. Uh, that is not a lead account, so... Uh, again, they ended up uh, kind of giving up after that one. Um, yeah, might have kept going if I capped that lead too, since I would have had two of them, but... Unfortunately, Helldrider popped, and yeah. I think I ended up ransoming that one leader back or something like that. So, anyways, moving on to the next one. This is going to be on my Rally Trap, so not the Mini Titan, so my other Rally Trap account. I will be doing a chest opening for this one tomorrow. I have like 200 plus artifact uh, boxes to open on that one, so be upgrading the gear, um, which I won't be using this clip, I don't think. I think I'll just be using the construction gear. Uh, here's the coalition. It is an infantry one, so just going over the cab. They didn't uh, carp or anything, so wasn't really too worried about that. And I had decided not to use my uh, war gear for this, decided to try and take in my construction gear. Uh, this account has way worse stats than my mini titan, so you're seeing I've taken way more damage. Uh, you can see I took 1.3 mil with the pack fives and uh, over 700k with the uh, with just the regular attack 788k. Um, this guy is a top tier account, uh, not a titan I don't think, but he's good stars, good artifacts, all that stuff. He's got 13 blast. He's in that top tier kind of. Uh, realm, but not quite Titan, and obviously not Max Count, and he did use the Bunny on that one. Um, I could have threw my War Gear on and took away less damage, but I was trying to act offline, hopefully waiting for baiting another Rally, and since I did take 2 million damage here, the chances of me getting a second Rally is pretty good, since I, I did take a lot, and again, I did not swap to my, uh, my War Gear, but, um... I think I'm running an anti though, sort of for this. Yeah, I am running an anti scout. There is uh, 32 minutes left on that, but unfortunately did not get a fall up rally. So not putting on the war gear didn't help, but <laughs> so anyways, back onto the mini Titan for this attack here. Uh, this is gonna be from HK plus. I believe this guy's pretty strong. So let's take a look at uh, his stuff here. Uh, 147 artifact stars on this guy, so a strong lead for sure. Um, again, top tier lead. Uh, sorry, castle stars on artifacts. Um, 
but another top tier lead coming in right now. So I'm just checking to see where the timer is. Uh, do they have a timer? Is the rally gonna walk right away or not something like that? Just so I can get ready and uh, swap my familiars. Cause again, usually for top tier leads, I do try to do the familiar swap uh, just because of that. So um, maybe I'm not going to, unless I already have my familiars on my wall. So just waiting to see here if they're gonna send it right away or not. And again, I do like to sit in the watchtower before the rally walks, just so I have a, a better chance. I'm just checking to see. It's coalition, it's a range rally, so it's gonna swap over to Imp there. Um, kind of missed my click on the first time, but I uh, got it off, they didn't carpet fast enough, so I was able to cap that. Um, I'm just gonna, maybe I'll stay in infantry, and hopefully they thought they tested wrong. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. Hope they just think they tested wrong, because that does happen. Uh, he is ported out of there, but he might be trying to get another leader to come rescue him. I only have 22 million troops left, so I don't have a ton of troops on the account. Uh, did 1.6, but that's, a, that's to be expected here. Um, from a top tier lead into an infantry blast. I don't know, for a reason range just does more damage. He also had almost 1.4 million tier, uh, four, tier 5, sorry. Uh, he did 877k with the pack fives, 700 and something k with the uh, range. But again, range just attacks more because it's a ranged attack, so you get more attacks off if you send range. So that could be why um, range ends up doing more damage overall. And also, I didn't have the pack fives on the wall. So in this situation, pack fives would have helped reduce the damage since he did 1.6 mil. Um, they would have triggered and took out a bunch of his troops and all that stuff, but. Anyways, no follow-up rally from that one. Just gonna move over onto the uh, rally trap. This was just in uh, end of a dragon arena, so I decided to throw this clip in here as well. Uh, again, I'm gonna just throw the actual war gear on. So this is my uh, rally traps war gear. If you guys are wondering what it is, also I'm a little bit lower right now because it is dragon arena, and I've killed off half my tier five at this point. So, and uh, again, I do run usually around a million of each tier five on this account, but in this situation, I think I only had like 500k. Yeah, only like 500k, but didn't really use much of my tier 4, and I still have all my tier 2. Also, I took that in infantry. Uh, a lot of that is because uh, I think my wall was up, so always take mixed rallies in infantry if the wall is up, because range just sucks. <laughs> so, uh, so anyways, I uh, was able to cap that pretty easily, did 1.7 mil. Just going to give it back, just in case he wants the rally a second time. Um, this is the end of KBK, and it was a pretty, not KBK, Dragon Arena, and it was a pretty close one, so I'm not sure who had what boosts and all that. And by the way, after Dragon Arena, you do still have the attack boost if you don't, if you don't realize that, check your stats. So uh, after Dragon Arena and it closes, uh, and all the forts lock, check, check your attack stats. You still actually have the Ancient Remains attack boost until Dragon Arena like literally kicks you out. So even after it's over at this point and everything's locked, you still have those boosts. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this trapping video. We'll have a uh, chest opening one tomorrow. We're opening over 200 artifact chests. So should get a bunch of artifacts and be able to temper some of my mythic champ on that account. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.